Hello everyone, this is Aquastation and welcome to my channel. While growing up, you all had once on a time a uh, goldfish, a goldfish, like maybe one, two, maybe three. I personally, my parents once uh, bought me around 60 goldfish. Uh, that I placed in a 60 by 30 by 30 centimeters aquarium. So every morning I used to go uh, to the aquarium and check the fish. Uh, so I g give them some food. But sadly, there were about two or three of them <laughs> that were just floating on, on the top. I asked myself why these fish could die like this. Why are they dying? I'm giving them food, they had a big aquarium, like this is what I used to think. So this is in general what we're gonna talk about in this video. Uh, we're gonna talk about some other topics but related to the goldfish. So let's get started. The goldfish, Carassius oratus, is a freshwater fish. It is one of the most commonly kept aquarium fish. It can grow up between 25 and up to 50 centimeters in the adult size. It has many different colors and shapes. It's a relatively small member of the carp family. It is native to East Asia. It was first selectively bred in ancient China more than 1000 years ago. And several distinct breeds have since been developed. You can tell that there's a lot of species of goldfish because of their different shapes. Uh, the body shape, the tail shape, we have goldfish with a double tail. Uh, the eye, the eye shape, the shape of the eye. So let's talk about another thing. Right now, uh, we're going to talk about the common mistakes that most of us uh, made in their beginning, maybe. So for sure that uh, there's a lot of people uh, who are making these mistakes till now. And maybe some beginners are making also these mistakes. So that's what we will talk about. So first of all, this bowl isn't made, there isn't any kind of fish that can live in a bowl like this one. Why? So first of all, there is not a place for, for a filtration system, whether it is an internal or an external filter, because of its shape. Uh, these bowls uh, are between uh, 0 0.5 to 3 liters maybe. So when we say no filtration, we surely say that the amount uh, of ammonia in the water will increase highly. So when the ammonia level increases, the fish will die. Why? Because of intoxication. Another thing, like if we were keeping a little fish in a bowl like this, the level of ammonia will increase not that highly. Why? Because it's a small fish, it doesn't poop that much. But the goldfish, like literally, it's a pollution machine. It can pollute the water in hours. And this is for a single one. Another thing about that bowl 
uh, is the shape of it. Like it's a circular shape, it can harm the eyes of the fish. So at the end, this bowl is only destined to keep in it some plants or to make decoration with it. Can you imagine that this little tiny fish that you buy from the market, from your local pet store, that is about four to five centimeters, or maybe a bigger, little bigger, can grow up to 30 to 40 centimeters. I don't know if you still want to buy one of these and keep them in this little tiny bowl. Do you even know that this fish can live up to 25 years? I don't think you do. Because from now on, if you want to buy one of these, you should take it in consideration. It's like when you buy a pet, like when you buy a dog, you'll estimate the dog to live around 17 years or maybe less but the goldfish can live up to 25 years in good conditions so if you know if you want to buy some of them or maybe one take care of it or don't buy it so each goldfish needs between 50 to 80 liters can you imagine it like 50 liters minimum for each like you're talking about that aquarium that I used to put in it 60 fish in it and I asked myself why are they dying now I know why <laughs> because this aquarium was a torture for them can you imagine if I want to buy a similar one I can put in it and keep only one fish one goldfish and not 60 and now we're gonna talk about the food that we used to give them and the food that we should give them there is a lot of varieties of food you have food that is based on fibers, based on proteins, a mixed one uh, that is based on both of them. I know a lot of people who used to give them like these flakes, I don't recommend them. Okay, so this is not sponsored, uh, but uh, Sarah and JBL, I recommend these two have big varieties which contain high protein, high vitamins, high fibers. We also have frozen food, the live food, which I recommend, like bloodworm, Daphne's, and brine shrimps. You can also cook your own food for the fish, by the way. Like you can boil cucumber, they really love it. Spinach. Kosa! I don't recommend giving them bread. I know that there's a lot of you that give, give bread to the fish. If I know that you're giving bread to them, I'm gonna come to your house, take the fish, and put them in my tanks. Okay? Watch out. We also can talk about how to set up it's uh, an aquarium for goldfish. There's some golden rules. The size of the aquarium, it should be around 300 liters for about 5 goldfish. It should have an important filtration because as I said, uh, that the goldfish is really a pollution machine. Pay attention to the gravel that you're gonna put in the bottom of the aquarium. Because this fish stays the whole day just digging the ground, like the bottom of the aquarium. So beware uh, from the gravel you want to put 
because it can really hurt the mouth of the fish and if it does it can lead to a sickness and as you know if you don't treat a sick fish it will lead to its death uh, some of you will ask me if you can plant an aquarium for uh, for goldfish yes you can plant you can plant it but make sure to to plant some strong and resistant plants because the, if it was fragile like it will eat it <laughs> and it will enjoy it <laughs> thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up and comment down below your video suggestions thank you